Hey Simmers, welcome back to Simpit Academy. So we continue looking at how to operate the aircraft. So as usual, half the things of flying the aircraft is specific to the Strike Eagle and the other half are general things that can apply to all other aircrafts. For example, this base shakers. So it adds a meaningful dimension to the flight experience when you add base shaker. It's essentially converting the vibration in the game that we cannot see or hear into um, feeling the vibration. So somehow the data is there in the game. Um, if you add it to something like butt kickers okay this is an alternative i know butt kicker it seems very simple you clamp it and you put in usb so i got this long before um butt kickers came out i, I got this like 15 20 years ago when i was doing falcon bms and flaming cleaves the kind of stuff way even before the a10c uh, first high fidelity module came out so essentially you can add multiple but i don't see why you you would need more than two uh, at minimum one under your your flight seat right and another one you add it to like somewhere near the rudder so here i built a box here and I have a piece of wood and I basically have one base shaker here um, underneath the seat so your whole butt and back will feel the vibration and then the other one I have this one here right behind this um, front console uh, breakers and next to the rudder so your feet when you place when they are placed on the rudder, you will feel the vibration. So, um, a great litmus test is when you start up your aircraft, right? Cold and dark. As you speed up the engines, whatever, your, your seat and your feet will begin to feel the, the aircraft uh, coming to life. And the funny thing about this base shaker is you don't you not only feel the vibration of the aircraft like normally rumbling at a low frequency and when you pull the G it vibrates more. When you fire the gun you vibrate more. Even when you like lower the gear when you turn the flaps when you open the bomb bay door okay you can feel it open when you release a bomb you can feel it let go and the 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 aircraft seems to jerk upwards when you get hit um even when you get hit you seem to feel that it's coming from the left side or the right side it, I don't know how it works, but somehow you just feel a lot more, and that's very interesting. Okay, so you guys uh, should uh, try this out. Okay, so this one we have an amplifier, and this plus minus here it goes to the sound um, input. Okay, and at the back here you you have your levels that you can turn up and down the intensity all these things i don't use them okay at the back it's a plus minus line which i just go to one input here this thing it connects to the second one and then the negative goes back okay that's it so this is the hardware part all right now the software part now this is not freeware this is payware um, but I believe it's not expensive. I don't know how much is it. So there are two parts to it. The sound module and the sim shaker for aviators. So this one is just for you to assign which speaker 
um, you want to use and then you wait, we'll look at the test module next and then this one is where you open up and you basically uh, specify customize basically the the strength that you want okay for for each event so looking at the sound module first um, you can test okay when you click play and it will vibrate if it works you will you will see this thing you will hear it and you'll feel it and then here it's like examples uh, afterburners and afterburners maybe not so important but you definitely like when you fire the gun and pull G's and um, when you land stuff like that this is a long list okay you can test them So for this uh, SSA, what we call, um, you should detect the aircraft when your aircraft and mission is loaded. Uh, I had to upgrade my very old version to the latest, which is 2.7. And it took me a while to refresh uh, before this uh, F-15E appears in the drop down okay before that it didn't appear i only had the rest so uh and here you can tweak you know you can just test like for example the g i tested it to 70 all right so besides the base shaker i want to go back to this thing here which i did not assign that in the last video i mentioned this that i may get this thing here just to uh, rotate and have this radar elevation this is like the real thing it's on the throttle so i found that on your thrustmaster warthog um, you have a slider here which you can also assign as an axis okay but you need to reverse it not like this you have to click on the invert and do it like this then when you slide forward the the radar goes up elevation goes up when you when you push it down it goes down all right the other place that you can also assign is two buttons this is also not used on if you are using the hornet the Thrustmaster Hornet stick that you have this this scrolling wheel here which 12 is to press okay we are just using the up and the down two buttons 11 and 13 so you assign it to elevation up and down so when you press push up and this whole thing moves this pair the upper and the lower limit of your radar goes up and down together okay and basically you will see the two numbers move up become bigger and move down together all right so this scale here you cannot bind it to anything you have to you have to move this um acquisition symbol you have to keep moving up and then you will go from 10 20 40 80 160 stuff like that and then you you move it down and the number decrease all right so unfortunately we cannot bind this to anything that i'm aware of uh, it's, it's definitely not appearing here so you basically this scrolling thing or this slider thing is just to move this elevation up or down okay together not one not not increase the range um the whole thing moves um in sync all right that's i that's all i have for this round
Thank you for watching. Okay, here we move the radar elevation up and down using the throttle slider or scroll wheel on the stick. And this one is moving the TDC up to bump the range up and now down. Now we are back to moving the radar elevation.